to sell the idea to lawmakers and commuters in our state. But when it comes to selling a product, advertisers will try almost anything to convince you to part with your money. Everyone has their own approach. And tonight, Eyewitness News Business Beat reporter Jack Rothholz meets a couple of local pitchmen who are real pros in the conclusion of Don't Touch That Dial. Some people say television can do just about anything. It can teach you. Flash floods are only one of several localized storm conditions that are difficult for national forecasters to predict. It can entertain you. Think of the excitement. Think of the fun. Think of George. I'd rather think of the fun. <laughs> and perhaps best of all, it can sell you. All right now, Florida, because I want to save. Save. I mean save you money. I said call right now. Well, I'll call. We've all seen those commercials that just get your blood boiling, the kind where you say, I'll never buy that product. Well, the funny thing is, we do buy those products, and the commercials, they sell. Little old Berkey loves you all. Austin Burke got into the clothing business 40 years ago, bringing a truckload of slacks down from Philadelphia. Today, after a bankruptcy and several other close calls, Austin Burke is an owner of a wholesale clothing outlet in the Miami Fashion District. Where others have failed, Burke has succeeded, and a major part of it, he says, are his commercials. If it brings traffic, and you have integrity and sincerity, and you're interested in the welfare of your customer, that's the name of the game. Burke has not done it all on his own. For the past year, Burke has been represented by what he calls another super salesman. Jim Vision's volume sales and eyeglasses 17 years ago, Joey Carr was selling washing machines in an appliance store in Miami. Now, the Joey Carr ad agency represents 30 clients in South Florida. And for many of those clients, Joey is the primetime TV salesman. Flea Market USA is the largest... For many businessmen, a major attraction to the Joey Carr agency is price. A TV spot like this one for the USA Flea Market costs about $2,000, peanuts compared to other South Florida productions. Some people say Joey Carr is the king of schlock, with low-cost productions that look it. But Carr disagrees. Does it hurt when you hear that? No, not anymore it doesn't, because I take all my money to the bank now. It doesn't. At the beginning of it, before I would take any product. It's true. I, I wouldn't lie to you. I'd say, hey, fine, anybody had a product to advertise, I needed the experience. But now, I'm, we're choosy. Clients of Carr say the commercials sell, and they sell well. Mark results have uh, really improved uh, as far as the, the volume of our business. The clientels have, uh, or the type of customers that we deal with have uh, also improved. And uh, the uh, amount of business is, is increasing every day. TV sales executives say Joey Carr has found a niche, representing small businessmen, buying TV time mostly late at night, and having the clout to negotiate advertising rates. Among the prime costs of producing a commercial is all the equipment needed to put it together. And Videotape Associates of Hollywood, one of the oldest and largest production houses in the Southeast, has carved out its own niche, providing some of the best facilities anywhere in the nation. The ADO manipulates an image in three-dimensional perspective, but it's not cheap. Studio time here can run as high as $1,000 an hour. We started back in 1968, and every year has been a record year in growth uh, in terms of sales and profits ever since then. Not only is South Florida a growing center of commercial productions, more movies and more TV shows are coming here too. And while we're still a distant third to New York and Los Angeles, film officials say there's plenty of room to grow, to create more jobs and projects and money. In Miami, Jack Rothholz, Channel 10 Eyewitness News, on the business beat. Well, let's take one last look at traffic for this week with Alabrera, 94 News wins with a live airborne report. Oh, on the air ever. The